Mandy. And John. And today we are going to be opening two blind bags and reviewing one of the new Batman vs. Superman figures. Um, so this is going to be primarily John in this video, so I will let him get started. What do you want to do first, the figure or the... Uh, well, I guess we'll start with the blind bag. Blind bags first. <laughs> so we have one of the Justice League Mashems. Who are we missing? Uh, we only need the Green Lantern, I think. Okay, so cross your fingers for us because all we need is Green Lantern. And as we mentioned before, these are only a dollar at Target, which is a great deal. And then we also have these. Um, they are Batman vs. Superman mystery minis. They are only $2.99 at Walmart. They're about $4 everywhere else. So take it away, John. Yeah, so we're one step away from completing the Justice League. So Yay. maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We only bought one today. Yeah, the... there's a perforated thing somewhere on there. Yeah. These are pretty cool for... I love them. For a buck, especially. They're, you know. And I've been saving the capsules because we're going to do some surprises. And... Yeah. <gasps> Green Lantern? Yay! Yep. Go us! Cool. So now we have all of them. The Yay. whole Justice League. There he is. He's cool. Mash them and squishy. <laughs> oh, he even has a little uh, ring kind of. Does he? Oh, yeah. Etched into his fist there. So would you say that's Hal Jordan? Yeah, it's Hal Jordan. Although he's got red hair. Yeah, it's Hal Jordan. He's got the mask on. True. So. He's cool. Very cool. Glad to have that. Now we have the whole Justice League, so. Yay! Finally completed a set, so that's cool. <laughs> That doesn't happen often for us. And these I'm very excited about, the Batman vs. Superman uh, Mighty Minis. Oh yeah, Mighty Minis. I think I called them Mystery Minis. Um, we don't have any of these. We don't have any of these yet, uh, but for two ninety nine, it's a little bit better of a deal than what we were seeing everywhere else. It uh, looks like you can get um, classic Superman, uh, a golden Superman, which I think is inspired by the Superman statue that's mm -hmm. in the uh, trailer for that's the Batman vs. Superman. And it looks like Armored Batman, a uh, Kryptonian suit Superman, and it looks like a Kryptonite-inspired uh, Batman. This is cool. These are made by Mattel. I don't know if we have any Mattel blind bags. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think we... We don't have any that I know of, so... so Let's see. We've got a checklist. Oh, it comes all wrapped in a rubber band. How fancy and official. It's like a scroll. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's like a little checklist. Okay. So, checklist. It looks oh, like it's a also. Lot more. It looks like these are from Batman Unlimited, though. So that's the other set. Oh, okay. And I then see. you've got the Batman vs Superman set here. Okay. And then it looks like here, when you put them together, you can actually make your own characters too. That's so cool. it's kind of cool if you have if you get too many of one character, you can kind of mm -hmm. always just use them for parts and make your own guys. So we'll have to look for that other set. Too. Let's see. Oh. Who we got? You got the yep. rare one. I, it looks well, like the. I'm assuming they're rare. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure who's rare, or who's not, but it's the uh, gold Superman. I don't know if there are rare ones. It doesn't say on the checklist. And they kind of just um, snap together. I'm calling him rare because he's gold, though. That's really neat. And gold they just kind of plug together. They're a pretty decent size too, and he's got a. Cape. Just by Snap guessing, you got every name exactly right of these. Kryptonian Superman, Kryptonite Batman, Armored Batman. Um, he's cool. There he is. So he's pretty cool. And like I said, I yeah. think he must be inspired by the Superman statue that's in the middle of Metropolis in the in the trailer. He's so. neato. He's pretty cool. I like him. And there's also another gold Superman in the comic books that's pretty awesome. But cool. That's very cool. Move all of the garbage. All right, and this one I'm pretty excited for. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did a review of the Mattel Batman vs. Superman uh, Heat Vision uh, Superman. And this goes with him. It's the Heat Shield Batman. So, so Batman, obviously, when fighting Superman, would have to have some sort of weaponry to stand up to all of his powers. And... Uh, Apparently, he has a heat shield. Uh, probably not going to have it in the movie, but this figure looked too cool to pass up. So, I like the red and gray suit. That is, I love that color scheme. Similar to our wedding. We had silver, black, and red as our wedding colors. Yeah. Too bad these weren't out, then. We could have had them on display. Because we had yeah. a comic book-themed wedding, so. 
Go figure. <laughs> if you haven't noticed by now, we're... This is his accessory. It's the heat shield itself. Oh, that's neat. It's kind of a translucent red. It looks like a spaceship. Um, kind of, kind of bat-shaped. So. These figures are actually... I, I know a lot of people have been complaining that they're, you know, not as detailed or... Yeah, these remind me of the figures I had when I was a kid, so I really like them. And for ten dollars, and mean. they're ten bucks, and they're they're awesome to make a, a whole display of Batman vs Superman. Oh, yeah. So here's uh, Batman himself. I think for ten dollars they're very detailed. Um, yeah, for ten bucks, that's the thing people I think are are kind of acting almost a little spoiled over. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, the the twenty dollar ones are great. I mean, if if you're just looking for really cool display pieces, these are. Uh, more kid friendly ones, uh, mm -hmm. but again, on my shelf, I mean, I, and they just remind me so much of the the figures uh, that I had when I was a kid growing up. Oh, and he's got that same cape like the Superman um, did. That yeah, he's got a it's a vinyl, uh, very light sort of cape. Um, not really a lot of detail to the cape, but again, for ten dollars, I, I mean, it's how not it's tattered on the bottom. Um, yeah, it's got uh, that's kind of it's neat. got the the little trademark Batman tatters on the bottom of it. Um, he's got some kind of it looks like some kind of heat resistant gauntlets on his That's wrists. Cool. I would almost say this one's probably a repaint of the uh, Kryptonite gauntlet one. We don't have that one yet. But, oh, okay. Um, he, uh, he's pretty cool. Um, the shield fits uh, on his arm, I believe. Kind of in his hand. Oh, cool. There he is. And then, just for comparison, just so you guys can remember, this is the uh, Heat Vision... Superman that we had reviewed in a previous video, so you guys can look back if you wanted to see that review. They can battle. Um, and he comes with the heat vision clip-on accessory that goes over his eyes, here like this, and then on your shelf, or if you're buying these for kids or whatever, they can battle with their powers, battle of the, the heroes. That's so, so cool. And they kind of have the same color scheme, so they kind of go together. I, that's what I liked about it. Um, it's a very uniform little set here. I love these for um, colors. They're they're awesome for for ten bucks. I mean, they're they're uh, even the detail in his hair. Like he's yeah. Got, like, they're they're they're. I mean, people are complaining that they're uh, you know not as detailed. They're not as nice as the other ones. I mean, that might be true, but they're really great figures for ten bucks. I mean. Um, uh, and I mean, just for me, I like them on display. I mean, but I could actually see. Uh, uh, our eight-year-old uh, playing with these. I mean, they, these yeah. are really cool figures. Oh, their heads so, move. yeah, they're, they're they're not as super articulated. I mean, and obviously these two outfits they won't be wearing in the movie, but they're really cool looking outfits. I mean, um, even down to like the boots. Like if you look at Henry Cavill's boots, they're like nice and flat on the bottom, and his have like the combat ridges on them. Like that's such a cool detail that they didn't even have to throw in. I mean, they do a good job on. Uh, on, on these over at Mattel, I mean, uh, and like I said, for ten dollars, I mean, you figure some movies are coming out nowadays, and and the the figure is four inches tall, and it's ten dollars, and mm -hmm. these these are a good six inches, so, um, like I said, these are really cool, um, and um, Do you need a box? there there are a few other ones, um, like we've been looking for uh. This Energy Shield Superman, he looks pretty cool. This one's kind of just a basic Batman. It's a Night Glider Batman. I don't know if you guys can see him on the package. Mm. Um, and then there's the the Heat Vision Superman. Uh, these these ones aren't as readily available as the uh, the basic set that has like the normal looking Batman, the armored Batman, and all of them. Um, we we found both of these at Walmart. Uh, I don't think they're Walmart exclusives. Mm -mm. Um, this one, I've, this one we found closer by the house. This we found on a little adventure that we took. But um, they're really cool, and I definitely recommend uh, uh, both of these and, and any of the figures in this ten dollars Batman vs Superman line. I definitely. Mean, um, definitely, if you're a fan of DC Comics. Uh, and they also have the the Aquaman's part of that set, right? And the Wonder Woman. Uh, yeah, we we actually have those. We didn't review those. We got them. Uh, uh, back when they very first came out, um, but uh, they're they're both really nice figures too. And I just uh, actually read that um, I think those might be Toys R Us exclusives. They're going to be doing um, repaints of them that look more like comic book inspired. So um, definitely cool uh, uh, shelf filler for yeah. for any kind of Batman Superman uh, shelf. Um, and that's about all. I mean, uh, just just wanted to get the word out there that that these are really cool figures for the for the money, especially if you're into uh, older um, 
style. older comic book uh, style. And like you said, it's great if somebody is, you know, a collector who's just like maybe 16, 17, doesn't have a lot of money, but wants to start collecting. Yeah. Or even our eight-year-old, he has a shelf in his room now because we have display shelves all over the house of all different toys and action figures. And now he wants to start his own display shelf, too. So it's great for 10 bucks. You know, he can start his own display shelf. Yeah, too. I mean, uh, and like I said, I, I, I like these just as much as the big $20 ones that are coming out or, or even the uh, the $30 uh big multiverse Mattel ones, but, um, I just think they're cool, and they kind of, uh, they have a good throwback vibe to, yeah. to the older days of, of action figures and toys, and that's, that's what I really like about them. Make sure that when you guys comment, uh, on the video, um, make sure, uh, make sure to tell us who you think, uh, will win the fight, uh, in the movie, yes. Batman or, or Superman. I mean, Superman is very, very powerful, but... Batman has a lot of money that he can use to spend on uh, all kinds Everything. of different <laughs> gadgetry to combat those Kryptonian powers. So, um, I mean, uh, I've been a huge fan of both of these characters, so I don't really want to say who's going to win, but um, I, I, I actually think that the uh, battle will end in a draw and they'll just decide to form the Justice League after after their battle. But that's that's my thought. Well, let so. us know what you guys think in the comment section, comments section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are looking forward to this movie. And please hit the big red subscribe button and help us build our little family here. All right, guys, we'll be back again with another video tomorrow. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.